guys, welcome to Training Reviews. So pretty excited about this one. I have just received the uh, Zapon Micro 2. Now what this is, this is a 13 inch micro rail slider. So it's very compact. It's like a camera dolly to give you some very smooth footage. If you wanted to get a desk shot of particular items when you're doing macro shooting, for example, it does a really great job. If you're outdoors and you wanna get some really smooth footage of people, of architecture, of objects, of nature, then uh, this does a great job with that as well. I will be showing you some sample clips shortly, so keep an eye out for that in this video. So just starting off with the design, this is a metal and plastic rail slider. In length, it's 53 centimeters, which is about 21 inches from end to end. So you get a very good length of your shots when you're doing some smooth recording. And it does give you eight kilograms of payload on top of it, which is actually very good. Some gimbals I've seen that do this type of stuff only have a max payload of about three kilograms. So a massive heavy duty camera dolly for you to record some very smooth footage. Now inside the box, you get these screw adapters for the uh, screws here on the top and bottom. Depending on where you're going to mount this, you can uh, adjust that accordingly. It comes with a user guide and it also has an Allen key if you wanna get in there depending on where you're going to mount it, you might have some tricky situations where you need to use that. Now the Micro 2 actually achieves quite an extended length via the dual slide design, which basically means the belt in the center pulls the camera, plus the metal rails move in the same direction, but at a slower pace. So as you can see here, the metal rails are going a little bit slower than the uh, belt in the middle, so I'm just sliding it across. Now as you can see, it doesn't really cause any issues when you're moving it and it doesn't cause any jerkiness in the video and it's very solid so you have to put a little bit of force to make it move but if you're holding it very still and it's sturdy then uh, you'll have the best footage possible. Now it does come with fluid damping friction technology which basically means it ensures very smooth and consistent manual movement. Some of the other cheaper dollies out there like I have one which is about 50 inches is quite long but because it's so manual there's no really any technology in there, it's not electronic or anything like that. Some of the manual footage I'm doing when I'm pushing the camera along the dolly is sometimes faster in some situations and sometimes slower in another situation. And depending on how my hand movement is manually moving it, it's not so smooth. I mean, it's obviously great for getting a horizontal footage for whatever purpose you're doing it for, but because there's no technology to actually keep it controlled and secure, it's sometimes goes fast and it slows down, goes fast and it slows down based on my hand movements. This is the same movement no matter how much pressure you're putting on it, it's gonna move at the same pace and it just makes things so much easier. And not to mention that it's so compact and it's pretty light, you can just take this anywhere with you. The other thing that it also comes with is a carry case. So you can just slip it in there, put it in your backpack or your camera bag and just take it wherever you need to if you are doing some filming. In the middle of the device, it has a locking mechanism, so you have to keep it in the middle of the uh, actual rail, and it will clip it into place so it doesn't move. So if you do put it in your backpack, then it wouldn't move up and down in various different places, and it wouldn't start causing problems. So that keeps it secure there. And finally, at the top, you have the uh, quarter mounting screw, which is basically for your cameras. At the bottom, you have the 3 8 screw, which is for your tripods, and you're mounting them on that. But like I mentioned, it does come with a screw adapter in the box, so if you want to use this for any other mounting situation, then uh, you'll be covered in that part as well. Now to complement this, it comes with another device called the Easy Lock 2, which is basically a mounting platform for you to put this onto tripods and flat surfaces or even uneven surfaces, just to make this a little bit more sturdy and a bit more secure. So if you're filming outdoors, this is the perfect thing you need to go with this, and you wouldn't want to damage this itself by putting this flat onto a ground. It's good for maybe using it on a table, doing some close-up macro shooting in the house, but if you're gonna take it for real life use, then you definitely need the Easy Lock 2. So this is how it looks. It's uh, a completely metal. Like I mentioned with the uh, Micro 2, it actually has the uh, quarter screw at the top, and it also comes with this ball head, which you can actually screw on there for your cameras as well. So it's uh, very tiny, but also it's very strong and it's gonna keep your camera very still. So when you're recording elsewhere, then this is the perfect thing you need. Underneath the uh, Easy Lock 2, it has four legs. So as you can see, you can pull them out and you can put them into any direction. Likewise, they also have these feet, so you can put the feet out and have it flat on a surface and it just makes it more secure. Now at the bottom, you have this uh, quick release plate and that is perfect for your tripod. So if you set this up for your tripod and you're ready to go for shooting, then all you do on the side, you just unscrew the gray hinge there and it basically just comes out. 
but you'd obviously have to make sure the legs are open before you can pull it out, just like that. And it clips back in, you close the legs like so, and then you just screw it back tight. And then you're pretty much ready to go. Now this is very heavy duty. The payload on this itself is almost double that of the Micro 2, which is 15 kilograms. Because not only do you have to mount maybe a camera on there, but you have to take in consideration that you have to mount the Micro 2 on top of this. And then also you have to put the ball head on top of the Micro 2. And then you put a camera on top of the ball head. So that's a lot of extra weight on this. And it does make it very strong. So let me go ahead and quickly clip this into place like so. Now I've got the ball head screwed on top. The last thing left to do is put the camera on top of the ball head. I can adjust the size of the angle of the ball head as well and then put it into whatever position I want. And then I'm ready to go. So I'll unclip this, just quickly show you. I'm putting a little bit of force on it. I'm holding the leg. It's going very smooth at the same speed throughout the whole movement. And then when you reach the end, you stop and then you come all the way back. Obviously the harder you push, it will go slightly faster, but it's not crazy fast, like in very manual dollies that you can buy. So you put it back to the middle, very easily clips into place and you can't push it anymore. So that's uh, everything I wanted to show you about the setup. So let me go ahead and show you some sample clips of how this looks with some footage and let me know what you guys think. Okay guys, so I hope you enjoyed that. Very smooth footage. You can see in some of the clips how I was manually capturing all of these different angles with the uh, rail slider and the easy lock too on my tripod. So you can tilt it, just make sure you have a heavy duty tripod so it doesn't tilt over. But it depends on the payload of your camera and your lens as well. So this comes in at just under 250 pounds at the time of recording this video. I'll leave a link in the description below on where you can purchase this whole set. That's the Micro 2 and the Easy Lock 2 as well. You definitely need to have a combination of both when you are going to use this. So I recommend getting both and not just one. And uh, if you have any questions, if you'd like me to try anything else, then do let me know. Otherwise, this is an amazing product. I'm gonna be using this on all my videos going forward for some very good B-roll footage, close-up shots and macro shooting. And uh, hopefully you guys will catch that as well. So I hope you subscribe, I hope you like this video, and I'll catch you guys at the next one. Take care.